Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I have a few clips I'm going to be putting into this video. One is, I was telling you yesterday about the motorcycle, it'll be a clip from that. And then there might be, a, I think there's a clip of the snake gourd and I might add a little bit of the garden, I'm not sure. Yesterday, I told you about the gold wing being torn apart. I thought today I would show you what it looks like. Here's part of it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then there's this great big hole to get down to the things that he needed to get down to. And the filter was halfway down and then he had to go more. And I'll show you the filter. And there's some tools. Yeah, I say it. And there's part of the motorcycle, the front part, lovely. Here's, here's the filter. See, it was pretty dirty. It needed to come out. So it's probably a good thing that the thing kind of broke, so he had to bring it out. What are you doing? Oh, you have power. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has power! But that's about it. <laughs> Yep, that's what it looks like. Ugh. It's got 30,534 miles. There's the miles. And it's a 2010. Mm -hmm. So while this one is sitting here all torn apart, this is the one he drives to work. Okay, I don't know if the lighting is right. I'll go on the other side. That's the bike he takes to work. It's a nice bike. And here's the one that he bought broken and now it runs. He keeps the battery tender on it. This way, it's always good. Ouch. Okay, that's it. I guess I can go back in. And there goes a motorcycle, two motorcycles down the road. Oh, three motorcycles. I missed them. Today I was watching Farmer G and he showed his snake gourd. If you see, my trellis has worked real well with holding my snake gourds up. But what I want to show you is everybody's snake gourds are real skinny. Mine. Mine are kind of fat. See, there's a, there's a snake gourd. If you notice at the top, and then they get bigger at the bottom, they're not as long as theirs are. And then I have one there, and one there. See how fat they are on the bottom? They're just fat, and here's one. And you see, they're, they're huge. They're very big. But they're not as long, they're just, more fat than they are long and there's tons of tomatoes in through here where i let the tomatoes just grow and grow and grow there's tons of them and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out here and with a bowl and pick a bunch of them eat the ones that are good and give the rest to the chicken look at this lots of them these are all self-seeded tomatoes but i wanted you to see my my snake gourd my snake gourds are so different than everybody else's snake gourd. They all have real skinny ones. And then I've got some new ones Ooh, right out here. Can't see real well. There's some more little ones we were seeing up in there. I don't know where they are. Um, I can't find them now. Oh, right there, there's a little one coming. Right. Right here. I don't know if I've got it or not. There's a little one coming there. And there's more blossoms coming. So if the season is long enough, we could have more. It's actually holding up my sunflower that has fallen. The heads are so heavy now that they've fallen over. But there's so many tomatoes in here. Look at these tomatoes. I didn't plant any tomatoes this year because of all the tomatoes that were over here.
The peppers are still going strong. We've got some red ones and green ones, the Hungarians, but they're all going good. And the sweet peppers, they're still doing good. I've got the orange, orange pepper, and there's a lot of them that haven't turned yet. There was some red ones, I don't know. I picked a lot of them, so there's probably none here, but there's still some orange ones to go. And then today I took the seeds from the, from the um, lettuce plants. And there was a toad over here, but he must have gone somewhere else. I don't know where he went. But here's some more peppers. There's that orange pepper. Another one down in there. Just hello. I'm down hiding. And who else do I see in the garden? Oh no, it's Mr. Jim. He's pulling weeds around his bushes that he's planted. Once I put in. You put them in a long time. Yeah. Summer, they're doing. They're coming these along. Doing Look at really this. Good. They're doing really great. The currants didn't take. The currants didn't right. take. Yeah. You'll have to dip. They, I think it was too late in the year for them. Yeah, you'll have to dip the plant. And the same with the gooseberry. When we went out to look at the snake gourds, and when we came back in, I said to Jim, I says, I'll hold your hand. And I was holding his hand as we were walking back, and I says, you know, when we were dating, this would have been an exciting moment. But where's the spark? And he says, oh, you don't love me anymore. And I go, I do love you. <laughs> you don't like me anymore. And I said, I do like you. I mean, first it was I like and then love, I think. It went that direction. Sorry, I, I reversed it. But it's crazy how you, when you're dating, you have this whole different different feeling as to when you're married. Now, we're, we'll be married. It'll be, um, it will, is 39 it is years. It will be 40 years in July, which is a long, July is a long ways away. We have to go through winter first. But it was, um, I was thinking of that. How, how about you? Do you still have that same spark? I know there's a lot of times he'll look at me and I will smile and I get that glimmer in my eye because I just do. But where's the electric in the hand? That's kind of disappeared. That's what I was wondering. What? Where did that go? Where did it go? And then there was another thing I wanted to talk about. That that was on the way back from the snake cord. But the earlier, what my topic was going to be about was running away from home. <laughs> yeah, I was, she really did. And I really did run away from home. Um, I was watching the L family. It's... They're, it's, they're so darn cute. The kids are so darn cute. They play act a lot. And the, the mother of this, these kids are adorable too. She just is, they're, it's, it's a lot of play acting that they do and it's a lot of fun to watch them. Well, she was doing um, a video that said, just annoying my daughter. And it made me think of um, me annoying foster children. And what had happened is, I, ha I used to get the teenage girls, and they were all from the city, and they were always running away. Well, the city of Jamestown is where they were from. <laughs> that's a, I guess that's a city. That's a city. Yeah. They would bring them out to the country, because in the country, kids are less likely to run away. Well, if they've got it in their feet to go, they're going to go. I've had kids come in the, wind in the door and go out the window before the police officer even has left the house and they're gone. But one day when um, the girls were getting antsy, this one girl, she put on a pair of red socks and I knew, oh, the red socks mean she's running. And um, so um, she and another girl were planning on taking off. So my mother happened to be here doing her laundry and I says to my mom, I says, um, the girls are gonna be running away so I'm gonna run away with them. And after I've gone for an hour, if I'm gone more than an hour, call the police to come find me. So I tell the girls, wait a minute, I'm coming with you. So I put on, it was very cold outside, not the kind of weather that I like to go out in, but I put on my ski outfit. The, that was my first present from Jim when he, we and I, 
we were dating, he bought me a, a really nice ski outfit. So I put the leggings on, and I put the jacket on, and I put the gloves on. I put a couple dollars in my pocket, and I had my head covered, and I was, I was nice and toasty warm. I put my boots on. I said to the girls, okay, I'm ready to go. So we left, and we're going down the street, and I'm walking along with them, and we get to town, and this car pulls over. I'm thinking, oh, good grief. They're going to want to get in that car. I don't want to get in that car. And the car had its radio blaring, and he rolled down the window, and the girls are talking, and I'm dancing in the street, and I'm trying to sing along with the song and dancing like crazy, and they go, oh, my goodness, let's just take her home because I was an embarrassment. So they decided to let the person in the car go, and we walked back home. So my mother didn't have to call the police. And I came home with the money still in my pocket, and the girls, they stayed there too. Then another time they were gonna run, and I said, wait for me, and they said, no, nah, we're not running. We're not taking you with me again. And so they, they really didn't want to take me because I was an embarrassment to them. I would be dancing, and I was dancing in town, and people in town know me. That's the sad part. It was more embarrassing for me to do that than it was for them to see me doing that. So that was my story. That. But they didn't know it, no. Another time I dressed up. Um, they knew our vehicle. We used to have a great big, huge blue van at the time. And people used to call it the big bus because it was big. Well, I had, seats. yeah, I had, I had um, some girls that ran away, and I was looking for them. And I knew if I came with the van, they'd know who I was. So I put on a helmet, I put on sunglasses, and I got on a bicycle, and I rode to town. And I see this group of girls, and I say, "Hey, have you seen?" And I think the girl's name at the time was Michelle. Yeah. I said, you seen Michelle? <laughs> and they go, yeah, she's in the... Uh, Mary Grace, is that you? And I go, yeah, it's me. And they said, and they had already told me where she was at, so it was too late. I found her. But it always amazed me how the police can find these kids. We could search and search and search. In fact, I do search before I call them. I would search to see if I could find them because I really hated to call them and tell them that I've lost a child again, they've taken off. But um, when you can't find them, you have to call, so I call. And they wouldn't even say the address. They used to just say, go to my house, and they used to use my name and say, go to Mary, go, I'll say my name. They'd say, go to Mary Grace's. And off they would go to my house. So that's the excitement of foster children. I have other stories I could tell you, but I will wait at another time uh, about me being locked in the bathroom and couldn't get out by another girl. <laughs> it was so, 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 it was funny. But I will save that for another time so I can really elaborate on it. And I hope you all have a great time watching the little clips that I've added. I'm going to add them before now. You've already seen them. I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> I don't know how this is going together. I never know how it's going together until it goes together. I'll slip it in there somewhere. I should have put a break in and said, I'm going to add the clip now, but I didn't do that. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to put it in there. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya.